Hi, hello. Hope you're in fine voice. I've had a message from someone on my YouTube channel. She's called Harley Gal. And Harley says, I enjoy listening to you and I'm trying to break into the audiobook reading business. I have a full desktop computer and because my day job requires me to be on the phone all day, I have a microphone that I plug into my computer. A very good start. I have looked at ACX and even found a few books for which I'd like to audition. I just can't figure out how to record and turn them into an MP3 file. I've tried to Google instructions, but I was more confused after reading the instructions. Is there a simple way to do the transfer? So I think you mean the export to give it its technical term. Uh, it sounds like you're a fair way down the road, Harley, but... Uh, one of the, the issues that some people have is they don't know how to uh, create an MP3. So just a quick word about MP3s. They are compressed files. So if you think of the two audio files we tend to use the most are MP3 and WAV or WAV, W-A-V. WAV files are lossless quality. So you can copy those as many times as you like and they never lose any quality but they're really big files. MP3 files are compressed audio files and they're about a tenth of the size of a WAV file, which means they're easier to transport over, over uh, email, particularly and in, in the internet generally. And because MP3s are so small, they're often used on sites like Audible because they won't take up too much server space, given that books can go on and on and on for, for ages and ages. So in the audiobook world, we tend to use MP3s uh, generally, uh, sometimes WAVs, but on Audible ACX, you'll find MP3 is, is the file of choice. But in the, the kind of broader voiceover world, what you'll tend to find is that MP3s are used for auditioning, sending off your audition samples to potential clients. And the WAV or WAV files, they're used for the actual job because they're better quality, basically. But they're obviously bigger files. So you might have to use uh, an FTP file transfer protocol type platform, such as WeTransfer or Dropbox or something like that. Anyway, that's for that's for another another video. But um, yeah, exporting an MP3. Let's let's take a look at how to do it. Here's the Audacity screen. So we've got pause there, play, stop, rewind, fast forward and record, a bit like a DVD panel of controls. I've got my microphone patched in. I do that here. Recording device, I'm using a uh, something called it's a, a USB device called a Blue Icicle. And then if I go back to pressing record now, I'm just going to record any old nonsense just so we can see it come up as a waveform. Once upon a time, there was an audacity recording. The end. There we go. Let's cut this off here because we don't need that. And then let's take a, oh, a bit of a pause there. Look, we just highlight that and delete it. Take all this excess off there and let's see what we've got. Once upon a time, there was an audacity recording. The end. Very good. They all lived happily ever after. And now on the toolbar at the top, I want to go to File. And I don't want to save the project because what some people do, they make this big mistake. They save the project and then send it off as an audacity file, which means people can't actually play it. Amazingly, because it's just a, a, an AUD file, not an MP3. What I want to do is go to export and then you see these options. I can go for some funny ones or the WAV file or I can go for MP3. And this is how you do it. So you go to export. So you go into file, export, export as MP3. And then I'm going to call it something. I'll call it test. And then it gives me the file type. Look, dot MP3. And then I just save it. I'm going to save it in my downloads. Here we go. So save. Just press OK. And hopefully it would have saved. I did a check and it has saved in my downloads file. So that's the main thing to do. Just make sure you go to file and export. Don't necessarily save the project. That is for 
saving it, but because that will create an AUD file, which nobody else will be able to play. So the MP3 is universally playable and it's the export uh, MP3, which is what you need to do. So Harley and uh, anyone else who's interested, I hope that helps. It's very basic stuff, but if you've never done it before, how could you possibly know how to do it? I didn't. It took me quite a few goes to actually work that out, that it was the export that I needed to do. So there you go. That's using Audacity, of course, and uh, exporting MP3s in other software will be a different process. Thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.